talking about the special type of linear functions. There are two special cases. The first one that we're going to start with is going to be the horizontal lines. As we know, for horizontal lines, the slope equals zero. Therefore, their equation is going to look a little bit different. So one of the examples that we can see for horizontal lines is going to be y equals 4. This will be the equation that we see. Now, how do we graph it? It is very simple. We know that we have an equation y equals 4. So we're going to go to the y value of 4. And as you do this and you mark your 4, you know that at that point, that will be your line. Y will always be 4, so therefore X can have any value, and Y will maintain as 4. Another example that you can see is Y equals negative 2. This will be the actual equation of the, of the line. So what you're going to do is, in the Y axis, you're going to go to Y negative 2, right here. And as you do that, there at this height, if you want to call it height, there will be your y equals negative 2. One last one. What if we have the equation y equals 6? So again, this is the equation. So you're going to go to the y value of 6, and right there will be your horizontal line, y equals 6. But this is only the first special type of linear function. The other one that we know is the vertical line. Now, the vertical line is a little bit different because we know that for this one, the slope is undefined. So their equation is going to be even more different than the ones before. For vertical lines, we usually see equations such as x equals 3. This is the equation of the line. How to graph it is very simple. We're going to go to the y that, sorry, to the x value of 3. And right here at x3, you're going to maintain the x3 value. Therefore, you're going to have a vertical line at x3. Another possible example could be x equals negative 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to x negative 5. We're going to mark that point. And we know that at this point, we will maintain an x value of negative 5. So this is the line that we will get. One last example could be x equals 0. This is one of the most difficult ones, or more confusing ones. Where is x0? Well, we know the x0 is at the origin. And since we're talking about x equals, we know that this is going to be an undefined slope. It's a vertical line, and we will maintain the x value of 0. Therefore, this is our x0. It happens to overlap with the y-axis, but that is the line x equals 0, a vertical line at x0.